Yo, my friend, how are you doing? We're back with another tutorial and we're gonna make this. Just what you're looking at. I'm going to break it down for you in three easy steps. So let's go. So open a new project and delete the default lights. Click on device and uh, click on create default pipeline. Now zoom in a little and connect the camera texture into screen output and let's delete those. Now let's go on the Spark IR library and uh, let's import adjust colors and RGB shift shader. So we're gonna make the black and white first. To do that, it's really complicated. Drag and drop the adjust color shader, connect camera texture and then the output and then turn minus one on the saturation and here you have it this takes us straight to the next part static glitch so drag and drop the rgb shift shader and connect it just like you do all the time and uh, turn the amount on zero for a second so you won't see anything i know i know we're gonna fix it so Open the patch just like this, select those friends on the left and uh, throw it there for a second. Now zoom in and if you start changing values in the translations, you notice that the glitch still happens. So you can go slight or really intense with these values. See with this first 2D transform pack, you get blue and red. With the second one, you get green and purple. And with the third one, you get yellow and blue. And uh, of course, you can have a mix of both just by changing slightly different the values inside the different translations on the different 2D transform pack. And uh, so, have fun. This takes us to the third part, dynamic glitch. So, insert a loop animation, and after that, a transition and in order to let them communicate you have to turn the transition in vector 2 because we have two values to control and uh, start with 0 and then pick a value you'd like to have a transition plug it in and see what happens so now we're having an animation on the translation of the 2D transform pack and we can change the curve in order to change how this transition is looking and you can change the duration to make it faster or slower. I go with 0.5 because it's glitch effect. If we want to go even further, we can add a random. Now, as you can see, you can just plug it in like this. So you have to go from the loop animation looped to randomize and then random into progress. Now we're having our value randomized in a range between zero and one. And of course you can command C and command V to duplicate it and uh, use the same concept on a separate 2D transform pack if you want to see a little more of those colors and I do want to see more colors so that's what we get and of course we can change the duration on the second animation to just make it feel more even more random I'd say so back to main this is your patch this is your secret don't tell anyone see you on the next one love you all